So here we have Jay Sung, the new mid laner for Sonic's League of Legends. How does it feel to be all the way here from China in Philadelphia for the first time? I'm from California and I play Valorant. I've been in like esports scene or like competitive gaming for probably over six years. Well, it really started with like I was playing a lot of Counter Strike Source like mini games at the time and I made quite a few friends from there. And one of my friends actually reached out to me uh, when I was playing CSGO at the time, kind of more casually, just matchmaking. And he reached out to me like saying, like, hey, like, do you want to play on a team? Da 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 da. And that's really where like I kind of kickstarted my passion and then I started to get really motivated into competing. I kind of started playing it when the game first came out because a few of my old teammates started to make the transition there. And at the time I was working and I was like kind of, I was kind of lucky in the sense that my work was starting to go back to work from home because of the whole COVID thing. And I started to pick up Valorant on the side, and then one thing led to another. Quit my job, gave some time into Valorant, and yeah, that's kind of where it led me to right here. Yeah, uh, it's pretty exciting. I mean, uh, the guys are awesome. They're super lovely. I feel at home playing with them. And yeah, I'm just here to try my best to be the best player I can be and just win some tournaments together and hopefully just do super well. It's been pretty good, actually, because for my past teams, uh, well, my past teams, uh, I've played a lot of Sova, and then for my last team, Carpe Noctum, I was really playing as the flex duelist kind of role. And over here on this team, like that's basically what I am, just a flex and a flex duelist. So it, it pretty much fits me perfectly. And yeah, it was it was pretty easy to really just like jump in and just transition from one team to another, and just start fragging out. I feel like we're gonna go into this next year pretty strong. Uh, I'm hoping to really just like crack down on our fundamentals and you know really fix up some problems and just dominate the whole scene and yeah we'll do our best and i'm sure we'll do great but uh if there's any team that i'm looking for particularly probably i would say sentinels or like really any of like the top teams right like if we make it to you know like regionals or anything like that i'm sure i'd want to play like gambit uh, I'd want to play like Vision Strikers and you know, just, just really any number one team. Uh, I'm Reed Zotek Johnson and I am the head coach for Sonic's Valorant. So I've been working with Sonic's going on, uh, going on three months now, uh, two months more of, in more of an official capacity. And it's been great. It's been, it's been really interesting working as more of a full-time coach as opposed to being a competitor after so many years you know, 80% of my life spent competing. You know, it started off when I was very little, uh, chess and Taekwondo and card games like poker. Uh, and that turned into Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic and all the traditional nerdy games that I played growing up. And it wasn't until I was 16 or 17 that I discovered FPS games. Uh, Crossfire, actually. Uh, sort of an Asian version of Counter-Strike uh, by Tencent. Yeah, so I've, I've been competing professionally at that for the last decade of my life. I competed from 2011 until 2019, uh, 2019, and then I left to pursue some streaming and some coaching and uh, Counter-Strike of all things. And then about four months ago, I heard Sonics was looking for a coach and decided to see if I, I thought it was a good fit. And it was. I think the guys are incredible. Um, one of the things that I look for when before, before I ever join a team is what their goals are. And Sonics was a team where they absolutely dominated the Australian circuit. When they came over to North America, they struggled a little bit. 
And what I saw was that they had not only the potential, but sort of the desire to, to really be a great team on the world stage. And that's, that's always going to be hard to pass up working with. So it's been fantastic. Um, the guys have incredible work ethic and I couldn't be happier. Yeah, I think Jason is incredible. Um, it's, it's kind of funny. He initially stood in for us for a few tournaments before we were looking for anyone. And then when it came time for us to look for a new player, he was an actual tryout and we couldn't be happier. We were incredibly lucky that he was available. And so for us, outside of fixing and improving some of the more fundamentals of, of team play and fundamentals of sort of self-improvement and practice regiments, a lot of it's been focused on getting to be one of the top teams in North America. Uh, the North American region considerably stronger than how they were playing in Australia. And so that's our first goal is to be one of the top teams in North America uh, by the start of next year. And then moving on from that, we'll see. Thank you so much uh, to Sonics. I appreciate the opportunity to come in and coach. I had never played Valorant before the coaching opportunity to come here. I played other FPS games for a number of years, but uh, so I'm incredibly grateful to, to Sonics for the opportunity. I'm grateful to all of my fans who've supported me over the last 17 years of my life. And I'm grateful to you, the viewer, for watching this and helping support the organization. You guys watching this and being involved is the reason they can afford to help us compete. They're the reason we can afford to practice and try to win with everything we have. So thank you so much.